And more than 40,000 Sacramento City Unified students were out of school again today. This is day five. Uh, nearly one week after that strike began, unions representing teachers and support staff are in the middle of negotiations with the district. And as of this hour, still no deal. Fox 40's Aton Wallace talked to some frustrated strikers today and also shares what the district had to say. With pickets in hand and music to get the feet dancing, these members of the SEIU Local 1021 chapter were up at the crack of dawn this morning, rallying in front of the Sacramento City Unified School District Transportation Services Yard. Among the demonstrators, Sac City Unified support staff, nutritional service workers, instructional aides, and school bus drivers like Sunny S.E. Lohoman. We feel totally disrespected. Disrespected, he says, because after more than four years as a bus driver with the district, he still constantly worries about how he's going to pay the bills. My salary a month is $2,500 a month, so I have to get other job because I cannot survive. SEIU leaders representing him and his colleagues are demanding the district provide improved safety conditions and cost of living increases. We need them to pay us more. I mean, I'm not joking about that. We need, because we have family, we have kids. A few blocks from the SEIU rally. Hey, we just want to educate. Sac City teachers and staff members held a rally at Hiram Johnson High School, a school where Fernando Rodriguez teaches math. We need more staff at our schools. That is one of the primary demands the Sacramento City Teachers Association is bringing to the table during meetings with district leaders. In our situation at Hiram Johnson, we've gone days and days where we have the cafeteria, we have the auditorium, we have the gymnasium packed with students because we don't have substitutes, we don't have teachers. We can't accept that as a community. We need to have teachers in the classroom for our students. The teachers union also is calling on SAC Unified to agree to a contract that removes proposed changes to employee health care plans and provides wage increases that account for inflation. From Hiram Johnson High School, the teachers march back to the bus depot to meet their SEIU partners and their message, I say, is to express solidarity with them. Sac City Unified says it sent updated proposals to the teachers union on Monday consisting of what the district referred to as further enhanced compensation. That, the district says, is part of a proposed increase in one-time employee stipends. The district also saying it offered stipends to help offset new health care costs. SETA President David Fisher spoke with us ahead of negotiations this afternoon. Cautiously optimistic. I mean, we had a decent uh, conversation last night. Finally, uh, we just just on sharing information, and there are no predictions because this could all just fall to pieces this afternoon. But always, as teachers, we're optimistic, and so we're hoping the district comes ready to um, get this thing done this afternoon. Keeping optimistic as the strike continues in Sacramento, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.